the best part about algorithmic trading is though you have maths the computer is doing all the maths for you you don't need to you need to know how it works and what it does but it's not like school where you actually have to know how to calculate it the computer is going to do all of that for you or even if you have to calculate something yourself it's a one time effort of you know seeing how it's done writing it out save it and because of code reuse uh, you can use it again and again and again now tips for algo trading uh point number 1 uh be okay with free data when you are starting right uh it doesn't matter there are a lot of apis and data providers today who give you data but uh it's perfectly fine to start with free and the other thing is don't be intimidated by the programming because the programming is fairly straightforward there is and all you have to do is break down a problem into simple tasks uh, and and that is it's something you do routinely in any case so again uh, there's nothing uh, difficult with the programming but yeah the only thing you got to remember is um, step away from uh mainstream media right you when you're doing algo trading you got to trust your maths okay you have to trust the statistics that you're getting don't get caught up in let's say looking at a popular television channel and seeing the graphs and then making decisions you is like flying an aircraft right uh look at what your instruments are telling you and then whatever you have learnt in flying school make decisions accordingly give yourself a little time okay uh, it won't come immediately but in there are aspects of the market i still don't understand okay but uh give yourself time which is hard to do but it is like any other craft right uh, you don't yeah. become a doctor in 6 months you don't um learn let's say origami or music in two months you've got to give it time you got to give it some focused attention but the point is you can learn on your terms and that's the important thing let me put it this way there's no point in my listing of you know how one domain built on the other or something like that no uh these are fairly disparate domains right uh i am a self taught programmer as well uh, which certainly helped right uh, some of these other things like from cisco and so on i knew how to do networking so i didn't really need any help to set up my trading infrastructure but having said that the point is you need to know how to synthesize knowledge from different domains right uh So I'm not reading balance sheets right now which is something I learned in Bcom and in B school but I at least understand how business works but having said that irrespective of your education okay uh you have to apply basic principles right and as long as you can synthesize knowledge across domains you're fine you can come in from to a total scratch in algo trading the only thing is you'll have to put in a little more work because you'll be learning two things you'll be learning programming and you'll be learning the markets now sure we introduce people to programming and you know in quantity and all that happens but if you don't know programming uh you will have to put in a little bit more work all the material is there the assignments are there but you just have to put in a little bit more work and <clears throat> don't be afraid of the machine don't be afraid to make mistakes